The people of Belarus are fed up and fighting for their freedom. After 26 years with the dictator and the regime built on lies, oppression and human rights violations. Lukashenko has stolen the power from the citizens of the country. It's time for him to give back all the stolen power. All votes must be counted and free election must be prepared. It's time for the people in Belarus to decide about their daily lives and have the power of the future. It's not a question for Putin or anyone else. Belarus has, as all other states, the right to sovereignty and integrity. So has my country Sweden, or Baltic states, as well as Ukraine. No, absolutely no directive from Kremlin and Moscow can be accepted. The European Union should support Belarus on its way towards democracy. We need to put an end to all policies feeding this madness. No more foreign aid ending up in the pocket of the corrupt politicians. Those responsible for violence and oppression, as well as Lukashenko himself, must be punished, not encouraged. From the EU side, effective and targeted sanctions need to be introduced immediately. A free Belarus would be a natural partner to the EU. There are lots of space and possibilities for Belarus, as well as Ukraine, in the European family. We are longing for deeper relations and economic exchange. And as good neighbours and partners, we could improve democracy, human rights and the rule of law together. There is a long way to go and the situation is very bad and dangerous today. But remember, political activities and journalists are not crimes. All citizens, every journalist, must be released today. To all of you who fight for a free Belarus, for peace and democracy in Ukraine, I want to say we are behind you. If you are worried about losing your job or having to leave your position, if you are afraid of your safety or if someone you love has been arrested or beaten, we are with you. We know, we see and we act. Your freedom will come. You will make it.